Hello and welcome back to Stoneblock 2. So, in the interim here, I have gotten the necessary red and dark matter built up. I actually have a bit of uh, extra Eternalist fuel. Um, in addition to this guy here, which has been processing stuff, uh, I also basically got these guys doing things as well. Um, so we're just kind of letting that go. Uh, but we have all the things we need for the energy condenser. So let's go ahead and kick off that craft. <clears throat> and again, it's doing that weird thing where it was just charging some of them before others. And I'm not sure why. Weird. Anyway, here we go. Plenty o stuff. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Almost done. And kaboom. 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 There we go. Hey, energy condenser. All right, this guy is important. All right, so we're going to need... I have built. I, I emptied out this, this area here so that I could have the energy condenser ready for things. I'm going to put the energy condenser here. I'm not going to necessarily use a traditional system for this. Um, I do want to get a couple more items on the go here. So let's go ahead... Grab that diamond block. Where's the diamond block? There you are. Um, and then surround you with this. Bam, we got the dark matter we need. Uh, you can come out, go out of there. There we go. Do, 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 do. So now, if I want dark matter, I can say, hey, target dark matter for me. Uh, let me actually... Let's see, is this... Yeah, this is that chest of things that I want to copy. <clears throat> so we, there we go. We put the dark matter there. And then... Do, do, do. We need something to feed it. Well, let's feed it like a stack of diamonds. This sounds like a plan. Pop back over here and be like, hey, here's a stack of diamonds. Hey, look at that. It's turning it into dark matter for me. Three dark matter I need, because I want to leave that one alone. And we will take our three dark matter and our six remaining eternalist fuel. And we will have a red matter to copy. Do, 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 do. Here we are. Now please duplicate Oop. the red matter. And we're going to stick that in there so that we can make copies of it. I am tempted to just kind of grab that. Let's see. Now what can we also copy here? Let's see, how about these nether stars that we have been accumulating? Let's grab a couple of those. <clears throat> so we can pop over here and put in another star, and another star, and another star. Look at that, it takes three of them to give me a red matter. And that probably wouldn't have even been enough for the total thing if we hadn't had some left over from the diamonds. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab you... Oh, I kind of want to let you finish. Hmm... Alright, there we go. Let's just kind of pick you up. And we're going to go get the glowstone. Excellent. No, it's seven of that, right? Yeah, seven. And what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade this to the red matter version. And then we will go ahead and stick it next to this. I'm not going to go like super overboard with this, but I am going to have some feeding into it. So let's see, we need the red matter and like all the world's glowstone. And a red matter and pedestal tier two low. Right, that was what was holding me off. All right, let's grab that. Grab all these guys. 
because I need to upgrade before I do that. All right, so to make these guys into the next tier, what do I need? A block of awakened draconium, wyvern cores, diamonds. That doesn't seem too hard. But actually, uh, you... all right, so here's the plan. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to get the necessary ingredients. I need a wyvern core, which I do not currently have. So let's go ahead with the wyvern core. Boop. I have a wyvern core. Eh, might as well grab the additional two I need since I have the stuff for it. All right, there we go. Um, do, 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 do. I needed the... block of awakened draconium. Not a big deal. Alright. Uh, there were some diamonds involved too, right? Diamonds. I think there was four. Something like that. What do you... Yeah, four of those, two of those, one of those. Okay, not a big deal. Do, 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 do. Pop on over here. Put you there. Let's get the rest of the stuff ready. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, put you in there because I want to be able to duplicate you. So, boop, boop. Boop. And then for you. Uh, except I need to split you. There we go. And start. Here we go. Doo, 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 doo. So I'm going to need at least eight of these to do the upgrade. But I'm going to do something slightly different. So we've got this one that is crafting and just about done. Blammo. There we go. Draconic Fusion Crafting Injector. Hey, quest complete. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and say to you, please make me a duplicate of that. Now, I should be able to take some of that. Let's just take some of this extraneous stuff, toss it in. I don't really need most of that stuff. Here, have a cobblestone. <laughs> Alright, now, you are a large, large amount. Let's go ahead and grab something that has a large amount. So let's go with a stack of block of diamonds. Sure, why not? Do, 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 do. Come over here, toss you in. Alright, so we should be able to also be like, hey, I'll grab two of you. Now this should be enough to get two of those out. Um, how close are you to all of this? Not quite close enough, I don't think. All right. So, whoop, not like that. Boop, boop, and boop. Let's go ahead and toss in a bit more. I'm actually planning on doing something super special with this, and we'll get to that as soon as we've got all this stuff upgraded. Grab a couple more, let's say three more blocks, eh, four more stacks of blocks of diamonds. Just absolutely ridiculous amounts of diamonds. One, two, three, four. We're going to go ahead and let that go. Here are three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I have enough, definitely. So we'll just take these, we'll convert them into EMC. And we will put the new ones down. Rather than just go through and the tedious process of upgrading all of those. Alright, so I need six. Oh, that was not exactly what I wanted. Oh well. Two, 
three. Oh, I guess I didn't need one more. All right, so there we go. There we go. We're all upgraded. So now we should be able to do the thing we were trying to do. And you. Bam, start. Here we go. Excellent, excellent. Here we are, energy collector. Now, just for the moment, I'm going to stick you right there. It'll start feeding EMC into here. Now, we need to do... Actually, what we need to do is pick this guy back up a second. And I'm going to say, please convert to this. And we're going to toss those three in there. Look at that, I have 12 of these already. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original one, stick it in here in case I want more. But we already have 12 of these, which is more than I was planning on doing. Actually, let's go ahead and let's get the Dark Matter Relay going. Let's get that up to the top tier, and we can set this up slightly the way I want. I'm not doing a full Power Flower, but I am going to set this up in a way that gives me some base income in addition to the other things that I'm doing. So, we want, uh, let's see, was it antimatter? Yeah, it's the antimatter relay. Oh, okay, the base is a fusion crafting. So block of diamond, glass, and six obsidian. All right, so we need our block of diamond. One block, please. We need some glass and some obsidian. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could use the furnace. We need glass. There you are. Boop. And a little bit of glass. All right. So let's get this guy cooked up. And then... We can start in on the rest of the stuff. All right. So you need the furnace. You need glass. Block of diamond. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Start. All right. Now, what's your next level? Oh, I can't quite do that yet. All right. <clears throat> Now, the next level is probably going to be something similar. The Mark II is, yes, very similar. Seven obsidian and a dark matter. All right. So we'll just put you there. Let's get a duplicate dark matter, please. Or, you know, a few. Can I grab one? Nope, it grabs a whole stack. Dang it. Alright. Well, I tried. Although that should be enough. Let's, let's, we know that we're going to want the red matter version. So let's go ahead and put you there. Stick you three back in. There is our extra red matter. Put the original back. There we go. Okay. Doom de doom de doom. And we're not. I mean, I'm not even to setting this system up yet. Like, I'm still just working on the rest of this, so let's see. Obsidian. I want 14. 14. Alrighty. And this should be all the stuff necessary to get this guy upgraded to a Mark III. I will duplicate it at least once. And then, all will be well. I can... Yeah, let's do two, since we know we're doing this anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get the dark matter in and done. A little slurp of my coffee there while I uh, wait. It's still just a touch above drinking temperature. Burned a little bit going now. All right, there's the Mark II. Pop it in there. Bam. Actually, here, let's put it in here just to make sure there wasn't anything like that. All right, get that going. Let's actually take a look at our quest book. 
Um, okay, that is the thing we completed. Oh, right, we haven't really... <laughs> we haven't unlocked any of this because we still don't have that, which is totally not necessary for the useful parts of this. All right, Antimatter Relay Mark III. There is the Red Matter version. Now, we want to take you, and we are going to... Well, let's, this will be quickest. Let's stick... Okay, this actually gave me a couple. All right, so let's take you, and we're going to dig out underneath a little bit in the standard power flower pattern. But this is the only part of this I'm going to build. Uh, I need you. Get you in there. Oops, come on. And there we go. All right. So now, the, the unobtrusive part of this is done. And it's sitting there slowly accumulating stuff, and it'll just kind of do that. Now, let's start working on the remainder of this. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to grab a bunch of these guys. I've got eight. Eight looks good to me. Um, I apparently also picked up a bunch of uranium, because apparently there was some uranium in there. I'm bumping my headset here as I scratch my ear. Uh, do, 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 do. Get that out of there. We don't need the cobblestone either. All right, we're going to set these roosts up. So I think anybody that knows a little bit about the mod has an idea what I'm doing now. So I'm going to go ahead and be like, I got E to you, so... Let's just be like, let's be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we've got that. I have not enough item conduits. We need more item conduits, which is fine. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we want item... Conduits, which I apparently don't have any of on me, but there we go. We got plenty of these. That'll hopefully be enough. <clears throat> Should be. Should be plenty. All right. So we're coming back over here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. All right, now you don't go in there at all. You are insert... And then the rest of you need to be always active. Alright, there we are. One stack would have been enough. Apparently I used seven. Okay. Or no, I used slightly more than that, but I used nine. Which was half of what I had. Okay. All right, so now we are going to need some chickens to put in there. So I figure diamond here are going to be my best split between high EMC value and high speed. Because I need things that produce quickly at a high EMC value. Well, chickens, you know, the diamonds are pretty high. Not the highest, but pretty high. And... They are also fairly quick. Let's just kind of do that. I don't need that. So let's use some of our massively accumulated time in a bottle. Since I, you know, was just basically waiting for uh, a lot of things. I accumulated a lot of time in about 18 hours still, even after I did that. So you can see it's, uh, it's, it's kind of go time. Do, 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 do. That's which is fine. We're just kind of duplicating these chickens. Okay, there's a full stack. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's get these started. So this will be just the first stack. Just the first roost worth. We will put you guys in the very center. Bam. And these guys are slowly making progress, and they make three diamonds per iteration, 
is on top of being relatively quick, so all that EMC will just get dumped into the condenser, basically, to duplicate whatever is in there. And I've still got my regular ones downstairs, making, uh, you know, more... Oh, hey, there we go, that's, that's that. Uh, making more of ye old actual diamonds, which these guys will get added back to in a little bit. Alright, you are doing that. Let's see. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I don't really need any of that, do I? I can just do this in my inventory. Yeah, there we go. There's another full stack of seeds. Let's just get these guys all duplicated up. should get it going again. All right, let's get these chickens in there. And this is basically my plan for this, because I think that this will be faster than just having a full power flower. I've got the little unobtrusive underneath part, and then I'm going to have a whole bunch of these chickens just kind of go into town. Here we go. So I've got four more stacks I need to get. That'll be the full eight. And that well, basically, yeah, see, here's the diamonds coming in, getting eaten up by the, you know, machine. There we go. So, as soon as I've got all the chickens done, I will then, oh, hey, eat a cooked apple. This far into the series, I'm still eating the cooked apples. Not like there's really any reason to do any better. That's the problem. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oops, wrong. It's a good thing I have so much of that time in a bottle, otherwise that might be, uh, problematic. Alright, there's half of what I need. And I think that the remaining that's in there should be enough. Come on. Finish out what I'm working on. Alright, one more stack. How nice and quick this is with the time in the bottle. So great. Especially since they're already all 10, 10, 10. I mean, it wouldn't be anywhere near this fast if they were lower tier. Alright, and. Alright, so we've got plenty of chickens. Let's start by popping the 8 back in here, so that that goes back up to full speed. We want to have our regular diamond production back up after all. And... Scoot over this way. And let's just kind of do it this way. Boop, 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 boop. There we are! Now we have a whole bunch of diamond-producing chickens just feeding diamonds into the old antimatter, or into the old condenser here. Look at how quick. Look at that bumping up. This is a relatively high EMC item. Not a super high one, but a relatively high one. Now this means that we should be able to say, hey, I would like some awakened cores, please. And we're not quite there on it yet, but now it's just producing it. And we can, of course, toss in a couple other things, like, say, one of those. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Like, say, one of those. Boop. And bump up that. All right. So that's now going to get us the bits and bobs we need in order to upgrade this armor. So I need four of these, four of those, two of them. Let's go ahead and grab, well, not two of them, but uh, eight of them. So let's go ahead and grab the draconium we need. Uh, where is the draconium? Awaken draconium. There we go. There's our eight of that. We've got three of the four of those we need, which is a good. 
So let's go ahead and we'll wait for one more of these to duplicate. I mean, it's a little slow, but as you can see, it is getting like bumped up along the way. All right, let's do that because I really do need one of these. And of course, I can also toss more stuff in here if I'm being impatient. And ultimately, whatever I leave in here will sit and accumulate and then can be converted into whatever I happen to need at any given time. That's kind of why I was pushing for this item, is because this is going to make it so much easier to do stuff, because now I don't have to sit and futz with the fusion crafting anything more than the one time I need to get it started in the first place. And look at this, just while I was explaining that, this thing's already up to half. So it's not too shabby. This is not the fastest system in the world, but it is also infinitely expandable. Because I can just duplicate more chickens and more roosts and just have it all hooked into here, all feeding diamonds in at whatever rate I can manage. Uh, unlike the power flowers, which there's a limited amount of room, and then you have to start doing something like this anyway. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people like to do is to have a full, like, farm of power flowers taking up tons and tons of space, and then basically pumping out whatever material they have these energy condensers making into another condenser, so that it is basically doing what this is doing, but using a ton more space. Uh, probably a little faster in the long run, because a full power flower is pretty powerful. But, eh, this just seems a little bit more space efficient to me, and considering we have to clear out any space we use, as opposed to just build out additional platforms like we did what in a skyblock, seems a little useful to me. Alright, so we've gotten our additional one of those. Let's go ahead and switch you back to Awakened Cores. Alright, so let's get these guys, at the very least, put into place. Alright, so you, and you, and you, and now we just need the cores. Uh, let's go ahead and, actually, let's check on our nether star thing. So I've actually farmed up some of the nether stars in the interim here. Uh, we have a bit more of the essence come in. Let's go ahead and get that. So you convert that way. All right, I got E to you, which gives me two of them. Now that's not a lot. It's got to be set. That is not a lot of EMC. But again, that's also just kind of passively running in the background. And when we want to boost, there we go. Not a lot of EMC though, is it? All right. How are you guys doing? We can actually disassemble all these guys, can't we? Yes, we can. We don't need any of these. We don't need any of these. Or you. There we are. Alright. So what we can do is toss those in. Toss in all this glowstone we got. And that blocks of coal, and that, and the Eternalist fuel, and the glowstone dust. There we go. Alright, so now that is all converting as well. We've got one more of you. We just need one more. And we will be able to upgrade all of our armor. Which is kind of the goal. And it looks like we're not going to have too extra long. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to toss one of you in. Toss another one of you in. There we go. Alright, Awakened Cores. And I'm just going to leave that running. You go ahead and do this. There we are. And now I can just go ahead and upgrade all of the armor into our uh, top tier. Obviously, we're not quite to the point where it's completely maxed out yet because there's a bunch of add ons we can put on. But hey, Draconic Helm. But here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish upgrading all of these. Maybe it'll happen while I'm talking. Maybe it'll happen in between episodes. But this is basically all we are at right now. Uh, so this means that hopefully next time we'll be ready to go fight the end chicken. But that is going to do it for this episode. So until next time, have a good one.